Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about large or wide format inkjet printers. When Cricut released design space where you can now print even larger sizes. So for me, I can print 11 by 17 inch paper, huge paper sizes on this printer that I'm showing here. And I can use those prints to make projects in Cricut Design Space. So with that release, you may be saying to yourself, boy, I wish I could print larger with my printer and utilize those larger print sizes. Well, I might just have a printer in this video that you might wanna consider adding to your wish list. Now I will say that wide format printers are and tend to be a bit more expensive. So I did try to choose the most budget friendly options that I felt were good options for printing. Now you will not find a like $50 printer on this list. I just don't think they make them, at least not high enough quality that I think you would actually like them. So I'm gonna go over what I have and then I'm gonna go over some other options. So I tend to stick with three brands when it comes to printers. My trusted brands are HP, and I tend to be an HP girl for most printing, but this is a Canon, so stay tuned. Canon, which is my second choice, and Epson is also another great printer choice. So I just tend to stick with those three, and I really don't think you can go wrong with those three. If you have a very strong preference either way, I will have options in all three brands. So first, let's talk about the Canon. So Canon has the Canon Pixma, and this is the TS9521C that I have. Now there are a variety of models that can print larger, and sometimes you'll find some of those are in stock, some of those are not, but I do think any of the Canon Pixmas that can print larger are a good option. So there's like the TS9520, this one is the TS9521C, I've seen other numbers as well, I don't think the model number matters as much, but the Canon Pixma does do a really good job. Now this version that I have can actually print a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper, which is really cool. Now Cricut did not open up 12 by 12 printing, but they did open up like 11 by 17 printing, which I can also print with this printer. So it makes it where I can make those really huge projects with my Cricut machine as well as my Canon printer. So I do need to use my Canon printer for those larger prints. All right, and I did say I was an HP girl at heart. <laughs> so the HP OfficeJet Pro and the model number that I've seen recommended is a 7740, but probably if you find an HP OfficeJet Pro that prints in the larger sizes, you probably can't go wrong. And I would definitely, I'm gonna list the Amazon links for the ones I'm recommending in the description below this video. But I would definitely, if you're just searching Amazon, click on each link and make sure it prints those large format prints because there may be like a Canon Pixma, for example, or an HP OfficeJet Pro in a different model number that only prints smaller sizes. So you do wanna be very careful when you're searching for printers and purchasing those. So that's Canon and HP. Now Epson makes a pretty wide variety of wide format printers that are fairly budget friendly. So you have the Epson EcoTank options. There's an 8550 that is a pretty good option for wide format printing. And then there's like a 15,000 that people buy to convert for sublimation. That would definitely work if you put regular ink in it for inkjet printing. The Epson Expression Photo HD is also a great option. And I personally love any printer that is has photo quality printing. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. Generally, what I stick with when I'm purchasing a printer is something that does have photo quality printing because I know I can get the best quality prints out of it without a ton of effort. Then there's an Epson SureColor P700. Now don't confuse those with the Epson SureColor sublimation printers. There's an inkjet printer version, Epson SureColor P700, and that one will print wider format prints. And then there's an Epson Workforce Pro, and that's a WF7310. And again, that one will print your larger prints. So which of those Epson options would you get if you just wanted an Epson printer? I would probably go, if I could find it, with something that prints photo quality and the budget was there, right? Because I think the workforce in that line is the most budget friendly. But if I had enough budget and could spring for that photo version, I would probably do that. That's my personal preference. However, if I was on a budget, I would probably look at all those options and find the most budget friendly one that I could. Any model number will work. So if there's a work, another workforce model number, says it prints tabloid prints, 
you're going to go with that one. And then just choose the one that kind of fits your budget. So I don't think you can go wrong with any of the printers I mentioned, or even some you might find, as long as they have good reviews. However, I do tend to stick with those three brand names. My personal preference, so HP, Epson, and Canon is what I stick with for all my printers, and I have quite a few. And then the models I mentioned were the ones that I researched that had good reviews for larger format prints. Now you might research and say, Angie, you missed this one. Definitely could have. I just tried to narrow down the list to a good list that was fairly budget friendly, could do large format printing, and they were all fairly readily available at the filming of this video. So printers tend to go in stock, out of stock fairly rapidly in my experience. Um, like this Canon Pixma, when I purchased it, I had to wait months for one to come in stock. And it seems like when they're in stock, they're in stock for a while. And then when they're out of stock, they're out of stock for a while. So if there's a printer on that list that you just really want and you can't find it, I do apologize. However, you might look for like the same, like a Canon Pixma, different model number at the end, and just find one that does the 11 by 17 paper. And you might find another model number that does that. And I do think they would be equivalent in quality. Usually the model numbers indicate things like, like this one has a um, tray at the top, like a paper feed tray. I think it might also do faxing, like different things like that, that you probably might not even need within the printer. So if you don't need those options, whether or not the model number you pick has those or not, is not gonna matter. And then like for this one, they make white ones, they make a black version. Um, you know, some of the printers might have other colors. So if you don't mind what color you get, then you can just kind of pick and choose from the model numbers and colors that are available. Use this information, use the links provided in the description below this video. If you can't find the description below the video, just scroll down if you're on computer, click show more. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. Click those links, read some reviews, decide which of these printers I mentioned is right for you. Then once you've decided which of these printers is right for you, then pick up a printer and start making those huge projects with your Cricut machine. Now for me, obviously you're gonna say, Angie, which one's for you? Obviously it's the Canon Pixma because I have it right here. Um, so what made me decide on the Canon Pixma? I do like the fact that I can print 12 by 12 cardstock edge to edge with this printer. So I can make my own scrapbook paper with my own designs. That's the reason I chose this particular printer and the reason I purchased it. I did not see another printer on the market at the time, and I've had this one for quite a while. I didn't see another printer on the market at the time that I could do that with. So that made me choose this particular printer for my needs. So you might have, you might not even care about that, and you might have other things that you really care about. So I wanted to give you a wide variety of printer options that you can look at, and then you can decide which features are important to you, which features are not, weigh the pros and cons, and decide which wide format printer will be perfect for your home. Now, these wide format printers can print up to, say, 11 by 17 or 12 by 12, but they can also print on regular, like, letter-sized paper. So this Pixma can print on eight and a half by 11 paper. So this is an inkjet printer, and it would be the only printer I would need in my house, technically. So I would not need any other printer for regular printing. If you wanna get into sublimation, you would need another printer for sublimation. So a sublimation printer has sublimation ink and would be a completely separate printer. I do have another video on large format sublimation printers, and I will link to that in the description below this video. So you can head there if you're thinking, I really want a large format sublimation printer right now, and I'm gonna wait on the ink chip printer. <laughs> That's okay. But you might add both of them to your wish list and get them at different times. So hopefully this helps you pick a large format printer to go along with those new larger print and cut sizes that Cricut just released. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about large format printers, ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.